you know, if I were on a talk show, I would have to wait till the end to plug things, but since this is my channel, I'm putting the plugs up front. First of all, I want to remind you that we do have trainer tips, masks, available um, for a little while longer down in the description. For every mask that's sold, a mask is being donated to hospitals, to healthcare workers, um, to help protect people on the front lines. And in addition, any um, additional profit is being donated to the City of Long Beach Disaster Relief Fund here in the City of Long Beach where I live. Yesterday, the city reported the highest number of new cases in a single day since the pandemic started. So um, stay inside, you know, we're not in the clear yet. I know a lot of people are getting anxious to go outside. And of course, if you do need to go outside, whether it's for work or to get groceries or whatever it is, please stay safe. You can do that with a mask. It doesn't have to be a trainer tips mask, but I am re reminding you, we do have them available and all the profits are being donated to charity, um, to a good cause. Second plug for the day, I recorded a podcast with the GoCast podcast. Not the GoCast that Reversal Twintendo and I started and then never did a second episode of, but the actual GoCast podcast. So that's also linked down in the description if you want to have a listen in to a nice long conversation with Chris and myself. Um, you know, maybe get some background information, stuff that maybe you knew if you've been watching the channel for a long time, and also some things that maybe you didn't know about me. So that's linked down below. Masks are linked down below. And now, onto the video. Well, I guess the video already started. Onto the, the part of the video that is, you, you, you know, this part. <laughs> Hola amigos, get it? Cause it's, it's May 5th today. It's Cinco de Mayo. Anyway, um, lots to talk about today in Pokemon Go. There's a few days worth of, well, there's literally all these announcements happened yesterday. So <laughs> I guess there's not a whole lot. It's not a few days. It's one day's worth of announcements plus one new announcement. So uh, starting yesterday for one coin in the shop, you can get the following three incense. Whoa, three incense. 20 Pokeballs, 15 Raspberries, and 10 Pineapp Berries. That is this week's bundle. That should be in the shop right now for one Pokecoin, so I'm going to go grab it. There it is. Incense Box. 3 Incense, 15 Berries, 20 Pokeballs, 10 Pineapp Berries. Arr. Still looking for the shiny Venonat. Also, haven't found it yet, but uh, hopefully. Hopefully before the end of the week. Next announcement. Raid Hour Returns. Try out a new remote raid pass during Altered Form Giratina Raid Hour. Trainers, now that the ability to raid remotely is available to trainers level 5 and up, we're excited to announce that Raid Hour is coming back this week. This time featuring Altered Form Giratina. With a remote raid pass, you can join a raid battle that you can see. We know how it works, right? We know how it works. Uh, Wednesday, May 6th from 6 to 7 p.m. in your local time. So that's tomorrow. 6 to 7 p.m. local time. Altered Form Giratina raids will be happening more frequently. How to get a remote raid pass. Step one, open the Pokemon Go app. You don't say. Tap the Pokeball icon and then, and then the shop. You guys know how to do this, right? Um, from there, yeah, you gotta buy one. Remote raid pass for 100 Pokecoins. It's kind of, a, kind of a shame that you can't use your free raid pass every day as a remote raid pass. I would like for Niantic to make that um, an option during this time, or maybe you could trade in three, well, I guess you can't get three free raid passes. Maybe like once every few days you get a free remote raid pass. I don't know. It's, it's, it's up to them. Regardless, uh, raid hour returns this week, Wednesday from six to seven. It's altered form Giratina in case you need one. Also, how are your remote raid groups coming along? Has anyone started organizing remote raid groups? Let me know. I'm curious. Next up, it's the announcement that happened in the, the last video. Uh, Go Battle League Season 2 begins Monday, May 11th, so next Monday. It was delayed quite a bit, actually. Um, there was a technical issue that needed to be addressed before transitioning to Season 2. So a little bit more time to rank up if you're close to rank 10 or if you're 
trying to get to rank 7 so you can get the charge TM, the elite TM. Um, a little bit more time. You got a little under a week to go in Season 1 of Go Battle League. And speaking of Go Battle League, I'll be on King's stream later today, 5 p.m. Pacific time, getting an official coaching session from Arrow. So maybe I can make a last minute push and at least get to rank 9 for Season 1. We'll see. Wish me luck. Hop on over to King's Twitch channel to see that. And finally, today's new announcement, uh, May Weekend Events. Trainers, the Throwback Challenge isn't all that's happening this month. This weekend, you can look forward to a special Snubble limited research event featuring more than 50 timed research tasks to complete right from the comfort of your home. And that's not all. Next weekend will be another Incense Day, this time featuring Water and Dark-type Pokemon. So, Snubble Limited Research on Saturday, May 9th, that's this Saturday, from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. local time, you can enjoy Snubble Limited Research through special timed research tasks with more than 50 tasks rewarding Snubble. You'll have plenty of chances to catch this very Pokemon. If you're lucky, you could even encounter a shiny one. Be sure to complete the time to research during this time as it will disappear at 10 p.m. local time on the dot. This event will be occurring at the same time as the Safari Zone Philadelphia ticketed event and Throwback Challenge 2020 Johto, so there will be much to do this weekend. Uh, good luck to anyone who has Safari Zone on Saturday. I'll be playing on Friday, so stay tuned for that. But the way that I understand this works is that these research tasks are going to show up in your Today View, so where the current Kanto challenge is, um, you can see I'm on part 209. We're going to continue that over on Twitch today, so come on over after this video. But uh, somewhere in here, we'll have the Snubble research on Saturday. So make sure you open it up, check it out, and there should be a ton of Snubble research tasks in here for you to complete. It's not like regular research where you need to spin a Pokestop for it. It will show up here, and you've got the entire day to complete them. Well, you've got 14 hours to complete them. Next up, Incense Day, Water and Dark type Pokemon. On Sunday, May 17th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time, you can enjoy an Incense Day event fe featuring Water type Pokemon and Dark type Pokemon, notably Carvana. You know, another um, Water and Dark type, Crawdont, one of my favorites. I, I like crabs. I know I've mentioned that a lot. They're not really crabs, are they? They're like kind of lobsters, crawfish, I guess. Similar. I like crustaceans. How's that? Can we have shiny corefish and crawdont? That's all I'm asking for. Anyway, that's not part of the event, so that's that's not happening. But during this time, incense will attract more Carvana, and you could even encounter a shiny one if you're lucky. An event-exclusive one Pokecoin bundle featuring three incense will also be available to pick up in the shop. So that's a total of six free incense. Well, three this week in the bundle, three next weekend in the bundle for Incense Day. In addition to Carvana, Pokemon of different types will be attracted by Incense. The type of Pokemon attracted by Incense will shuffle every hour between Water and Dark. So just like the last Incense Day, except this time it's only Water and Dark, and it's going back and forth every hour. So during hours that feature Water-type Pokemon, you might encounter Horsey, Timpole, and more. If luck is on your side, a Lomomola might appear. Do I have that in the decks yet? Oh, I do. I do, I got one. When Dark-type Pokémon are attracted by your incense, you might find Murkrow, Sableye, and others. If you're incredibly lucky, you could encounter Scraggy. So this is the first time Scraggy will be available outside of Go Battle League on Incense Day. So from 11 to 12, Water-type Pokémon. 12 to 1, Dark-type. 1 to 2, Water. 2 to 3, Dark. 3 to 4, Water. 4 to 5, Dark-type Pokémon. Another 6-hour Incense event, and you know what that means. 6-hour DJ set over on Twitch. So, two, two weeks from now, next, next Sunday, May 17th, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm firing up the decks for another Incense Day music fest. Okay, I think we're up to date on the Pokemon Go announcements. I'll be over on Twitch continuing the Kanto research. I'm playing green version in Japanese. So, if you want to come watch me struggle to read Japanese, uh, come hang out. It's been a lot of fun. Here's a clip of the exciting things you can expect to see during my Kanto throwback research and Pokemon green version Japanese live stream slash research event slash shiny hunt.
Yeah. Yeah, watch this. Let's see what shiny checks I missed. Oh no, you should see what they... Oh! Wait a minute! Yo! Yo! Who's on the clip? Why am I not recording this? Yes! Triple sevens. I just struck gold. Yes! Oh my god, we got the lucky Taiyaki right here.